Hey, how you doing? I am making chili in my Instant Pot. Let me show you what I've done. So far, I have my beef. Yes, I need to make a lot of chili. I have my beef that I have browned off in my Instant Pot, and I'm gonna make this real simple. I put in my chili powder, my paprika, my onion powder, everything else like that. I'm gonna load it up with some nice diced tomatoes, and I have two for each one, okay? One there, one there, one here, one here, okay? And you just get some good quality, quality diced tomatoes. I'm not gonna leave the can in there, by the way. I'm gonna take it out. All right, so we get our tomatoes, and we just kind of stir those around, okay? Get that mixed in. The next thing I'm gonna do is take some tomato sauce and add that in. Okay. Now the one thing you're going to say is, wow, a lot of tomatoes. Well, what I'm going to do is stew it down pretty much. And you can hear it's already stopped sizzling like crazy. So I got my chili in there. Okay. My chili in here. The next thing I'm going to do, now we have great heated debates here in Texas, because as you know, I live in Houston. Beans or no beans? Well, I'm gonna put beans in my chili, and I use black beans. I'm gonna put half of those black beans in there. Yes, I use the sauce and everything, because that sauce is delicious. And then I'm gonna use my other half of black beans in here. Make sure you get all of that out, don't cheat me. Then I'm gonna take some red beans, red kidney beans. I'm gonna put those in there. Half the can, then I'm gonna take the other half and I'm going to put that in there, okay? And we're going to give that a good stir. All right. So now we went from a bowl of red, which we went from a bowl of red, which is the Texas version of chili, to chili with beans, which is still a Texas version of chili. Because I talk to a lot of people that were, live in Texas, and they're like, we love beans in our chili. Eh, beans in the chili. So, we have our chili going with our beans, black beans and red beans, okay? We've added onion, we've added tomato, we've added garlic, okay? We've added all that in here. The last thing I'm going to do is take a little bit of, that's not going to work, it'll work. I'm going to take a little bit of tomato paste. I always have a spoon, a little bit of tomato paste, half a can of tomato paste in there, half a can of tomato paste in here. This is a very, very simple direction, very easy to follow, okay? I want to make sure I get it all out. Don't cheat me, don't cheat me. Then I'm going to take this and I'm going to stir this in. Stir this in. Make sure you break up your tomato paste. And then the next thing I'm going to do. Is I am going to. Once I have it all stirred in nice nice. I'm going to take my lids. Put them on my instant pots. And I'm going to set them to meat stew. For 35 minutes maybe 40. Let's call it 40 minutes. Let it get nice. If you were going to do this with dry beans, I would say to do it for 60 minutes because you want the beans to get nice and soft and then they'll be nice and soft. But add your beans in last. No need to soak them. The Instant Pot's going to do it all for you. Well, there it is. Instant Pot Chili. Hope you enjoy. We'll show you what it looks like when it comes out. Bye-bye.